You've uh, heard of people camping out overnight to get concert tickets on a new iPhone, but how about camping out for child care? To be the first in line of dozens of parents, one mom got to DeWitt Town Hall before 11.30 last night. News Channel 9's Farah Jadman was there early this morning, too, and shows us why the town's child care program is in such high demand. It's Kenneth Hill's first time waiting in the line. Once a year, it becomes the place for parents to be in the town of DeWitt. There's a nice long line of people ahead of me, but yes, it's important though. You know, child care, good child care is very important. Good, affordable child care, something every parent we spoke to says is lacking in central New York. It's about half the price of what I would spend somewhere else. During the school year, the DeWitt Recreation Child Care Program is $27 per week per child with 30 spots filled. After school, it's $43 for a total of 65 children. Programs are held at Tecumseh Elementary and Moses DeWitt. The low price and convenience is why parents keep coming back. Last year, there were a few folks that were here sleeping in their cars, and they got out about 2 a.m. and got in line. So every year, you have to get here early and earlier in, to ensure you have a spot because there's limited spots. After hours of waiting, about 20 children were put on a wait list. Rec staff says expanding the program isn't easy. Space and staffing. It's, it's really hard to go out and find people who are available from 3 o'clock to 5.30. To work those hours and you know we we kind of thought we would get a little more maybe teachers would be interested or tas but i think their days are are long and busy because parents know it's popular they plan to line up even earlier next year um, i usually get here about 6 a.m and normally i'm up you know about halfway up further than i am now so actually it's word of mouth that's gotten more competitive people line up for sneakers people line up for concerts people line up for phones so Lining up for your child shouldn't be should be even more reason to get in line and wake up early. Recreation staff says they've talked about other ways to run child care registration, but first come, first serve appears to be the best option. They say a lottery would be unfair and an online process could crash the website. Vara Jadrin, News Channel 9. Well, in the next few weeks, parents of the 20 children placed on the wait list will have to wait and see if anyone drops out of the program. Recreation Director Karen Keyes tells us she's confident most of them will get a spot.